say hello to my little deals. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another eShop Deals video, where each and every week we go through the Nintendo Switch eShop and we pick out some of the best games currently on sale. And after a couple of weeks of the eShop being slightly more quiet than usual, you know what, we were hit with a ton of deals over the last couple of days. And I've got to say, especially if you're a fan of RPGs, you have a ton of choices for this week. Now just before we jump into those, a quick reminder for anyone who might be new here to the channel, about halfway through the video I'll be giving away two $5 eShop gift cards. If you want to participate in future giveaways, all you need to do is be subscribed to the channel, drop a comment down below, and then check out the next regular eShop Deals video to find out if you won. And in regards to that, just remember I don't deal with Telegram. If anyone writes to you from a Telegram account, it is most likely unfortunately a scammer. Lastly, if you ever reach the end of the video and you're still looking for other great deals, I'll always be linking down below the latest under $5 list as well as last week's video because most of those deals are still running today and I just don't repeat them two videos in a row. Now with all of that stuff out of the way, let's not waste any more time, jump straight into the deals. Just remember if you are liking the content, hit that like button. Now our first great deal for today are actually a couple of games at a brand new low and that is both the Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3 and 4 that are now at brand new lowest ever prices so $24.99 for the third one, $34.99 for the fourth one and these will be running all the way till September 19th. Now both of these games are part of a great JRPG series and I've got to tell you right away if you're looking for a really awesome series with some anime inspired visuals while well, The Legend of Heroes is a great entry to get into. Now there is one downside however to the series on the Nintendo Switch and that's that for the moment the first two entries have unfortunately not made their way over and it is a continuing storyline however I've got to say personally I jumped in at the third entry and although some characters did take a while to get warmed up to I did enjoy my time with both games overall. The combat system itself is also very engaging and very well done Visually, the game is actually quite stunning on the Nintendo Switch, whether you're playing in docked or handheld mode. And although as usual for a lot of animes, the storyline does get a little bit convoluted, but is nonetheless very satisfying. On top of it, if you need any more convincing for yourself before maybe jumping into the series, the good news is the third game actually has a free downloadable demo, so you can actually try it out for yourself. Now our next great deal is once again on a series of great RPGs and that is the Disgaea series that actually all the entries are on sale but the ones that I would really focus on picking up right now are Disgaea 1, 4 and 5 that are all 60% off dropping to only $19.99 and once again running till September 19th. Now this time around we once again have an RPG series but it's rather a strategy turn based RPG format. And if you enjoy crazy over the top anime styles, well then the Disgaea series is probably a perfect one for you to pick up. Now the good news here is although we don't have all the entries on the Nintendo Switch, yes some characters do come back from one entry to the other, but the storylines themselves aren't direct sequels so you can pick up whichever one you want and jump right in. Now personally, I've been a fan of the original Disgaea since it came out on the PS2 and replaying it on the Switch reminded me of how great and crazy the game can be. However, if someone's looking for maybe a more modern twist with a few extra amenities, I would definitely say that jumping in in the fourth or fifth entry might be a better move if you don't have nostalgia for the original. But overall, one thing is guaranteed, if you are a fan of strategy turn-based RPGs, whichever one you decide to pick up, it's going to be a great time. Now for our next game, let's take a little break from the RPGs and look at Record of Lotus War, Deedlet in Wonder Labyrinth that is back to 30% off, dropping its price to $17.49 and this one will be running till September 29th. Now first of all, this game is a 2D metroidvania that will resemble a lot the style that you would expect from something like Symphony of the Night. And it's actually also a game that I played on stream and I'll be linking that down below in case you want to check it out. Now although this game does try to inject a little bit of story being based on an anime series, I would say that the main focus here is definitely once again the gameplay. And I've got to say that this game was really a joy to play. The exploration is super rewarding, you regularly get new items and new weapons to try out, and both visually and sound wise is a game that is truly amazing. 
The one thing I do want to mention, however, here is this game is slightly shorter than a lot of other Metroidvanias, most likely ending around the 8 hour mark. And also difficulty wise, I found it a little bit on the easier side, although it definitely still has some moments of challenge. But in my book at 1749, 8 hours of great gameplay and a lot of fun is definitely worth it. Now our next great game for today is going to be the Falconeer Warrior Edition that is now back to 40% off, dropping its price to $17.99, and this one will be running till September 20th. Now this game is an open world action adventure game based around aerial combat. In this game, you're basically living in a world where you're embodying a warrior that rides on the back of a powerful warbird. Now just as in most open world games, you'll have a ton of exploration, finding different people that will assign you quests and side quests, really diving deeper into the mythology of the world you live in. And I think what I loved most about this game is that the aerial combat genre really doesn't get a lot of attention, but a game that uses that gameplay style in such an original way just pulled me in immediately. Not to mention that it was actually conceived and developed by one and only person, so on top of this being just a great all-around game, it's also an amazing passion project. And on top of it, in this version of the game, you even get the free DLC that lets you ride on the back of a dragon if you prefer it. Overall, a great pickup for this week. Now for our next great deal, we yet again not have only one great game, but a couple of great games at brand new lows, and that is both the ukulele games that are now more than 80% off dropping to only $5.99 and will be running all the way till September 29th. Now first of all, although these games share the same protagonists, they actually have two different gameplay styles. The first ukulele is a 3D action platformer. And if you're familiar with the classic Banjo-Kazooie game, well you'll recognize the style right away because a lot of the team members that made this game were actually part of the team that made that other one. But overall, as far as action platformers go with an overall collect-a-thon format, at only $5.99, you're getting an almost first-party quality title here at a super low price. Now if we shift over to the second entry, which is Ukulele and the Impossible Lair, you rather flip to a 2D action platformer that very much emulates the style of Donkey Kong Country. And once again, if you know your history, we're talking about the same developers that worked on that other original series. Now personally, the second one is my favorite entry and would most likely still be among my top 10 2D platformers on the Nintendo Switch. And it has a very original gameplay concept where at any moment you can actually attempt the final level of the game. But trust me, just as the name suggests Impossible Lair, you most likely will have to pick up as many power-ups as possible to make your way through. Now since normally I would consider that both these games are worth their full prices, at only a crazy $5.99, they are just a total steal. So now it's time to take a quick break and announce today's winners of the $5 eShop gift cards. And our first winner for today is going to be Juan Atunes, who said, My favorite channel to watch, so many gems, I truly thank you for helping me find great games, especially at such great deals. And I'm really glad you enjoy it, Juan, that's why I make the videos, that's why I started the channel, so I really love to hear that. And our second winner for today is going to be Ryan Miller, who said, I have Blossom Tales The Sleeping King, I was pleasantly surprised how good it was. And I've got to tell you Ryan, the first time I booted up the game, it actually surprised me as well, but it is truly one of the best old school Zelda likes we have. So now all you need to do to claim your $5 eShop gift cards is reach out to me in my pinned comment down below. Now if we jump straight back into our deals, we're going to look at another couple of RPGs at brand new lows, and that is Ease 8 at $19.99, and Ease 9 that is now $29.99, and will be running once again till September 19th. So now after a more traditional RPG, a strategy RPG, well guess what, we've got an action RPG series. And personally, I've got to say that the E series is among one of my favorite action RPG series, and it's also one of the longest running ones. The good news is we have quite a few entries on the Switch, and since once again, they are not necessarily direct sequels, you can jump in at pretty much any point. Now, once again, both these games are a feast for the eyes on the Nintendo Switch, and I think among some of the best looking in the genre. And the soundtrack is no slouch either, really right up there with the beautiful visuals. 
But what I really think delivers on all cylinders for both these games is the gameplay. Now, fair warning, if you do check out a review, you'll see that the ninth one did have a few issues upon release. The good news is they've mostly been patched out and now the game runs very well. And personally, if you want to get into one of the best action RPG series on the Nintendo Switch, at now both entries 50% off or more, it really feels like a great time. Now, our next great game for today is going to be Death's Gambit Afterlife that is now 30% off, dropping its price to $13.99. You will have to move very quickly, however, it is ending on September 10th. Now, yet again here, we have a Metroidvania. However, this one, contrary to the previous one, has a Souls-like inspired combat system. So this one will come with a slight warning, although it's not one of the most difficult Souls-likes I have ever played, it is a fairly challenging game nonetheless. But I think what I love most about this game is it's a story of redemption. When the original Death's Gambit released, it was not received in the best light. However, the Afterlife version that we have now is almost a complete remake of the original and let me tell you, this game now scores very high on the review charts. And it also offers a ton of replayability with a lot of different classes to explore and also a lot of different upgrade options. So if you're looking for a great Metroidvania with a spicy challenge level, well Death's Gambit Afterlife is going to be a great pickup for this week. Now our next game for today is another one at a brand new low, and that is Undertale. That is now 40% off, only $8.99, and will be running till September 22nd. On top of it, this game will be my pick of the week. Now overall, I do think that the best category to put Undertale in is that of an RPG. However, it's a very special one. And I would say the only game series I could even potentially give as a slight reference point would be the Mudder series. Because it has that really crazy style of mixing elements of the real world with elements of a fantasy world, but it all coming together in an amazing storyline. It also has an amazing gameplay system that always will keep you on your toes, always changing up ever so slightly. I mean, just the combat itself will keep switching up from encounter to encounter, sometimes being like a bullet hell, other like a quick time event, but overall always being amazing. It's also yet again another game that has a ton of replayability, and I would even say you're missing out if you don't finish this game multiple times. I mean there's even a playthrough that you need to do by killing no enemies and basically granting mercy. But trust me, if you have any interest in RPGs at all, at only $8.99, this game is a must have on your Nintendo Switch. Now our next game is another favorite of mine, and that is Mighty Goose, that is back to 50% off, only $9.99, and this one running till September 29th. Now first of all, this game is a 2D run and gun shooter that will almost remind you of a blend of Metal Slug and Gunstar Heroes. And it's also a game that I played a couple of times on stream, and I'll be linking those yet again down below if you want to check them out. But you are basically playing as a goose bounty hunter with cybernetic implants that has to make his way around the universe collecting bounties. The gameplay is fast and fun with animations that really go over the top. Not only that, but the game has actually received quite a few upgrades on the accessibility end, making some of the crazy animations optional now, so if it gets too crazy for you, you can actually tone it down a bit. But personally, this is a game that just reminds me so much of my Sega Genesis games that I can't put it down and I come back to it on a regular basis. And it's another one of those games that I would have easily said is worth its full price. So today at 50% off for $9.99, it's another amazing pickup. So now it's time for today's sizzle reel of deals and I've got to say a lot of the games are quite amazing. Make sure you don't miss it.
So we're now at the end of another eShop Deals video, and I want to hear from all of you. Let me know what games you picked up for this week. Also, I want to take a couple of seconds to really thank my channel supporters. Their monthly support is just so important to the channel, and I appreciate it a ton. And on the way out, don't forget that if you did like the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and click on the notification bell so you know when all my future content comes out. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.